I'm showing you guys this makeup look using mostly e.l.f products. This video is not sponsored by e.l.f., but I will say I have a collaboration coming up with them very soon. If you guys watch the vlogs, or if you have not, I will leave a link to the vlogs down below so you guys can get all caught up. e.l.f. recently reached out to me and we are working on a collab that I'm really excited about. So I recently got to go to their headquarters and they gave me a whole goodie bag of lots of products and I just decided to try them out. Ended up really loving the stuff. I posted a picture to Twitter and Instagram and I asked if you guys would like to see a tutorial. A lot of you guys said yes, so that is what I am doing today. If you missed the picture on my Instagram, this was the picture and a lot of you really liked this. So that is the look that I'm recreating today. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram and you would like to, I will leave my Instagram link right here. This get ready with me video is actually different from how I normally film them. If you guys watch my usual get ready with me's, I'm usually like sitting down, not really explaining what is going on. I just put music and cute edits over it. But this one, I really want you guys to feel like you is getting ready with me. So if you're about to get your day started, pause this video, bring your laptop, your phone, whatever it may be to your bathroom, get your makeup ready and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with this product. This is the Murad Complete Reform with Glyco Firming Complex. I got this because I was watching Desi Perkins and she said that this product is great. So this is seriously my second day using it. If it works well, I will let you know. How are you guys doing? I feel like every time I do a get ready with me, it's usually with music. Today, I just want to do a good old old school get ready with me where we are really like getting ready together. Personally, I just find videos like this just really entertaining and it feels very personal. So if you guys like these videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, right now, I am moisturizing my skin with this African Black Soap Problem Skin Moisturizer. I started using this about two weeks ago. I told you guys I would update you on how I feel about it. And to be honest, I don't feel like it's helping. I don't think it's doing anything. When I'm done with this, I most likely won't be repurchasing. Next, I'm gonna prime my skin with this e.l.f. primer. It is the green one. I really like this primer. I feel like it works just as well as like Smashbox and you know, all those fancy primers. By the way, are you guys looking at my nails? Someone actually commented the other day and asked if this was the same manicure from like last month or something and girl it is this show is i know so ratch i called into the nail salon the other day and they're like we're fully booked till the 18th of may and i'm like what i'm just gonna have to do my nails myself but the reason i wanted to go back there was because my sister got me a gift card so you know i was trying to use my gift card but i guess I can't use it until later on. So I just haven't had the time or the patience to fix my nails. So they are extremely overgrown. This side is extra ratch, but hey, it's okay. The foundation I'm using is this e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation in the shade Beige, but this is a little too dark for me. And I felt like the shade under that is too light. So what I'm gonna do is mix it. I have my Cover FX Drops in G30. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna add three drops of this Cover FX up in there. And then I just take my finger and I go in there and mix it. That looks pretty on point. That looks like my skin tone. So whatever is left of my finger, I just like to take it on my cheek. And the brush I'm using is the Luxie 532 Round Top Blender. Girl, I finally got new brushes. I've had the same brushes forever. I actually didn't buy these myself. I got it as a gift from Luxie. I've been using them for the past few days and oh my god, I'm obsessed. They work so good. I actually get bomb ass coverage from this. I mean, I have so much redness on my cheeks from my little breakouts and this just bam covers it. Anyway, let me just update you guys on life. Honestly, not a lot has been going on. But there will be more exciting stuff happening. I am going to Costa Rica with Sophie. I'm so excited. It's like my first ever girl trip with her. It's not just going to be us. We're going with Style Hall. And it's just going to be so much fun. We're going in June. So I'm really excited for that. I need to start working out though, girl. Like, seriously. A lot of you guys always tell me like, wait, wait, what you're talking about? You don't have to work out. But I may look thin and like toned because I always wear baggy clothes. Like I rarely wear bathing suits. Like you guys don't ever see me like 
in a bathing suit. Actually, you might have seen me in a bathing suit like once when we were in Hawaii. But yeah, other than that, I'm always in loose fitting clothes. So not a lot of people really know that I'm very untoned. And I'm not trying to be like, oh, super duper toned because realistically, I'm not committed to working out like that. I like to work out once in a while just to feel good, just to like get my energy up. But I don't feel like I'm the type to really go and work out for the sake of, you know, just looking very, very toned because I'm too lazy for that, let's be real. But I am doing squats and stuff lately. Homegirl's trying to get this booty right. Okay, you guys tell me, what is more important to you? Abs or ass? To me, ass. Okay, that took me way too long to do my foundation. Now I'm gonna put on my concealer. This is the NYX HD concealer. I have it in the shade 04 beige. I'm gonna pop this under my under eye. All right, now I'm gonna blend it out with my Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. I can never use those like concealer brushes for my under eyes, like, girl, I ain't got time to use this tiny ass brush to try to blend out my concealer. We need to do it quick. So I'm always using foundation brushes or beauty blenders to blend out my concealer. Okay, now I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Gel and I'm just gonna brush this over my eyebrows. Personally, I always like to use brow gel first because I feel like it fills it in a bit and it also gives it a little more texture and I have no eyebrows, as you guys can see. So just adding that little bit of texture just makes it easier to fill in when I go in with my pencil. So I'm just gonna let that dry and I'm gonna do my eye makeup. I prime my eyelids with this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This has been like my holy grail eyeshadow primer for years. I think I probably started using this primer when I was in high school. Speaking of high school, if you guys have been watching my videos ever since I was in high school, first of all, thank you so much for sticking around for that long. Whenever I meet you guys and you guys tell me you guys have been watching my videos since tampon days, it always warms my heart because that, to me, felt like a really long time ago. And I've changed a lot as far as a person. Like, I feel like I've grown a lot since, like, the little teenager me. And, you know, I feel like a lot of times people don't stick with you through thick and thin, just like friendships, you know? So whenever you guys tell me that you have never gotten tired of me and you've just stuck around, I really appreciate it. It's like having a long-term friend that just never judged you and accepted you for who you are as you continue to grow up. So I really appreciate that, so thank you. I just got this palette. I tweeted about it the other day. It is amazing, so I have to show you guys how it works. This palette is $10. I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is the rose gold palette, by the way. I'm gonna take it on a fluffy brush and this is just gonna go in my crease. I'm gonna go in to my crease, just like so. I mean, girl, I know, it's pigmented. This, this eyeshadow palette is the shit. Okay, now that I got my crease, I'm gonna go in with my lid color. So the second shade, it's just like a champagne-y shimmer color and I'm just gonna pat it into my lids right under where I put the crease color you don't want to overlap it just have it in its own separate section on your lids so don't take it all the way up to the crease but if you happen to get up there a little bit it is okay we can fix it next I'm gonna take a teeny tiny brush this is the Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush as you can see it's really small so for those of you who have mono lids like your girl. A small brush to really get in your crease is crucial. So I'm just gonna take this last shade right here. It's this dark purple. And I'm really gonna get this into the crease and not really blend it everywhere. You'll see what I mean. I'm just gonna take it here. And you wanna create a sharp, but not too sharp, line along your crease. This will kind of mimic a deeper crease for those of you who don't have a crease like me. It's not necessarily a cut crease that I'm doing. It's just a very natural one. As you can see, I'm not really focusing on making this area super filled in because I'm just gonna put eyeliner over that and really there's no purpose to put so much eyeshadow there if I'm just gonna cover it with eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush. This is the Luxie 205 tapered blending brush with nothing on it. I'm just gonna go around the edges to blend everything out so it looks soft you don't want any harsh lines. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with that first color right there, which is just like a matte white. I'm gonna use this as my brow bone highlight. 
All right, so that looks decent to me right now. I'm just gonna go back to do my eyebrows because sometimes I feel like I don't know how to wing my eyeliner until I see how my eyebrows look. I guess I just want them to look balanced, you know? So the brow pencil I'm using is the Eve by Eve's Conditioning Eyebrow Definer. You guys know I love the Pixi one, but I ran out of that. And all my targets don't sell my shade. So I'm using this one, which is like my second favorite. Okay, you guys have seen me do my eyebrows like a million times, so I'm just gonna sit back and talk to you guys while I do this. The other day, or was it yesterday? I think it might have been yesterday. I was walking, oh shit. I was walking my dog. And to be quite honest, I get a little paranoid whenever I walk my dog, especially at night, and this was at night, because I live in San Francisco, I live in a big city, and there's just a lot of shit that goes down around here. I just like to be a little more cautious, and it freaks me out whenever people fucking sneak up on me, which is what happened. There's this guy that was walking, I don't know what the heck he was thinking, like I was picking up poop at this moment, so homegirl was sidetracked. I was picking up my dog's poop, and then when I looked up, there's this big old dude like standing right there just like smiling at me and I'm like homie I got a knife in my pocket don't fuck with me I know this may sound kind of ridiculous but I do keep a knife in my pocket whenever I'm walking the dogs or I keep some sort of weapon the other day I had a screwdriver in my pocket I know girl I get real serious about that but I'm not encouraging anyone to carry a weapon with them or anything because a lot of times with a weapon it might it can be used against you if you were in a serious bad situation but I just bring it in case, you know, I don't know. And do you want to know the reason why he was just standing there? He wanted to tell me my dog was cute and he wanted to pet it, but I'm like, for real? You couldn't have done it at a distance? Like literally looked up, he was right there smiling at me and I'm like, excuse me. It's like every time I do my eyebrows, I have to like pray to the eyebrow gods and ask for even eyebrows today. And now the other part that I dread when I do my makeup is curling my eyelashes. I have almost like no eyelashes, but I just curl them anyway sometimes, just so that you don't see the split between my real ones and my fake eyelashes. When I first started wearing makeup as a kid, one time I asked my mom, I was like, why are my lashes so short? And she was like, Whaley, did you know that it's good to have short lashes because that means that you're hardworking? I'm like, girl. Don't even try to make yourself feel better like that because that is not true. Since when does having shorter lashes mean you're a hardworking person? Since when? Asian moms, man, I'm telling you. When I was little, my grandma would tell me, oh, if you eat fish, you can swim. Well, that didn't work out. Okay, now for my mascara. I just started using this. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara that is waterproof. Oh my goodness, I love this mascara. I tweeted it yesterday, and a lot of you told me that after using it a few times, it becomes very, very clumpy. So I hope that doesn't happen. The reason I like this mascara, even though I barely have any eyelashes, is that it holds my curl. My lashes never hold a curl. They are stick straight, they point downwards, and you know, I just hate when I curl my lashes, and after I put mascara on, it just, you know, goes back to being straight. That just ruins all my effort. Okay, now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. I love this e.l.f. eyeliner. This is the e.l.f. Intense Ink Liner. It works so good. It stays on all day. And the tip is just like the perfect tip. That's what she said. What I like to do, since I left out that gap, like I told you guys earlier, I'm just gonna fill it in with eyeliner. So I'm just gonna show you how I am gonna do that. First, I like to get really close to my lash line. I like to just use the side of the eyeliner and kind of fill it in. That way I feel like it makes it easier. You just make that wing and fill it in. For my lashes, I think I'm gonna try these today. I ordered these the other day. It is the Kiss Lashes, the blooming one. This is the one where it is like double layered. So I have Daisy and I also have Peony. I used Peony the other day and I feel like it's still not as voluminous as I would like. You guys know me, my lashes always go big or you go home. I'm gonna stack these two lashes together and see if they are voluminous enough for me. So here I have Peony and here I have Daisy. I'm just gonna put these on and I will be right back. I am in love. These are totally up my alley. I mean, can we take a moment? Yes. Oh, they are gorgeous. Now I am gonna tight line. I'm using my Tarte Inner Rim Liner. In one of my previous videos, I used the Pixie one 
which was super super pigmented it was great but i felt like my eyelids are probably too oily for it or something because it's smudged everywhere throughout the day so i just went back to using this one I've always really liked this one and the ColourPop eyeliner is also great. Now we're gonna work on the bottom lash line because my top right here, as you can see, is very heavy, very dramatic. So you just wanna balance out your bottom lash line. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This is from Luxie, the 217 pencil brush. And I'm gonna dip it into that shade right there. I'm just gonna go in my lash line. Next, I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna go over that to darken it all. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is the shimmery champagne color and highlight my tear duct. I think I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics Tight Line. This one works pretty well for my bottom lashes because it is extremely tiny. This one just makes it a lot easier to get into those tiny bottom lashes. This is the e.l.f. Total Face Palette. I'm gonna take the Luxie 650 Precision Angled Contour Brush and just go into that contour shade. Mmm, yes. I also like to just take it up to my temples so that there's just like this perimeter of bronziness on your face. I feel like contour is just one of those things that make me nervous too. <laughs> Cause sometimes your contour can accidentally be a little too high or a little too low. And then whatever's left, I like to take it down my jawline so that your jawline looks nice and sharp and ready to cut a bitch. Now I'm gonna go into this peachier shade for my blush. The brush I'm using is the Luxie 504 Large Angled. with the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlight Brush. Gonna go into the highlight and just hit that cheekbone. Also down the bridge of my nose. Lastly, I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush again, the 502 Large Powder Brush. And go in to this e.l.f. HD powder just to set everything so that my blush, highlighter, and all that stays in place. Just lightly dust it over. For my lips, this is the best lip combo. I'm in love with it right now. Both of these are e.l.f. This is the Beautifully Bare Touch of Nude. Can we just look at this nude lipstick? Like, can we look at how pretty it is? So if this is too nude for you, what you can do, I actually did this yesterday, but in that Instagram picture I Instagrammed, I just wore the nude. You can go in with a touch of pink and just layer it on top a little bit. And it just adds a little bit of pinkiness to it so it's not as washed out i guess that is it for today's look hope you guys liked it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i post every single week please leave me any requests you guys have for next week and that is all i will see y'all next week love you guys thank you for all the support and you guys are amazing so have a wonderful day bye